Okay, so a fresh episode on the truck today. So we got the jack jacked up as you can see. Ready to go. Yeah, put the shocks in. This one needs a bad. The bushings have come out of the shock. Right there, they just come out. And it just sounds awful clunking around and nasty. Now this side is TRBL. Alright, so I'll film this one when we get those in there. Alright. PSI. Here's our garbage. Okay, watch this. The Maybe. ones in the bigger boxes will be the, for the front. I'm sure. sure they're the bigger ones. Just look at the size of those things. No, what I'm saying is they, they do something retarded. It's like, we'll put the smaller ones in the bigger boxes. And then the, the bigger ones in the front. This is how they compress these. Should be the fronts. Yep. Okay, so. They really? You got the big ones. Oh yeah, make sure you get this in the video, you gotta uh, compress these and prime them or else uh, they might write a little funny when you first put them in. Oh that's right, look at the eyelids on the bottom of this thing. <laughs> oh yeah, these are a little bit softer, we'll get that compliant ride, you know, it'll be great off road. <clears throat> these ones are already done, <laughs> gotta do the back. but We will I'm... leave that tie on here so that when we just... Mount it up. We'll probably just Wait do the fronts today and I'll we'll do the back later. Cause Wait a I... minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. The, other, the other part of the other side's different. Okay. I was freaking out. I'm like... They, you, there's no way we can miss mass these because these are, have two of those. This has in the funny end. I was, I was freaking out. I'm like, oh, freak. Oh, shit. 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 I get this all oh, crumpled box. I hope it's not like all twisted. Hopefully, I won't regret buying these. Oh, it's, it's I don't know if you mint. have you used these before. Yeah. Oh yeah. These are twenty dollars a shock. So I spent I can't afford forty for shocks. the front, forty for the rear. But I it was cheaper than that. What did you say about doing the rears later? No, we're backing this thing up and doing the rears. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna set you guys down. I'm gonna go get the. Go do the stupid uh, other side, get the wheel off. Oh, yeah, these are great. Hey, you know what's funny? No, no, no. These are red. It's, it's different shade, but yeah, it's red. Yeah, it's fucked. Oh yeah, these are nice and stiff. Nice and stiff. I'm gonna grab some Intro with you. Sorry, uh, sorry, uh, whatever your channel is, you Fucking bitch. Oh, I found a better uh, editing program. Okay, I need to try it. There, there's no limitations on it. Full length. I'll try it when I uh, need another video editor. Uh -huh. Well, I have one next book. I'll bring it over and let you look at it. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Pop the other side off. Uh, okay. I'm gonna have fun with this other side too, ain't I? Yeah. I don't even. I don't even. I don't even. I don't even fucking know. Alright. So apparently the sockets. I haven't had a, the joy of taking these off yet, but apparently the sockets on these things are a pain in the ass. Oh, oh there goes that one. I'm not having a problem with it. <laughs> you should have tried it one. 
Oh. First took it off. I think you wore it out for me. No, yeah, I did. <laughs> okay, never mind. That one's going to be a pain in the ass. I can just tell. Oh, oh maybe not. Alright, I get this big bastard up here. Yeah. Just, uh, actually, just put them underneath the truck. Yeah, I set it right here. Let me guess. This is going from metric to from SAE to metric, and then from metric to SAE. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. Is it an 18? I know not none of my other sizes. I said, Jesus Christ! I'm just so surprised of how they separate from the top. Are they... Ah, there we go. Yeah, it's metric. Okay, got this side done. We'll go off. God damn it. Wow, I didn't have to put a wrench on this side. How big are they? 19. Why don't you have them in that too? No, I don't. What about you, Joe? I need the impact note. Got it. Here, I got the tire off. Jesus <laughs> Christ! Ha! Friendly fire. <laughs> you shot me in the leg. Oh, of course it won't go by finger, but it'll go easily with the wrench. You got two cameras rolling right now. I can't believe your brake rotors are 13 bucks a piece. They're as cheap as a truck. I, I, might, I might get... I think since we have this off, I'm going to put the other... I want to replace that other one. I'll just go buy... I need to go buy one because I Actually, don't... Actually, I would leave the brakes, but what I would do is, because it's so cheap, that inner tie rod. Yeah, I'm, I gotta get the tie rod. I forgot that yesterday. See, we got most of the things we needed. But like Jimmy said yesterday, I should have wrote a list. Yep. And I didn't do that. You said we would remember it, but we didn't. Uh, we, we didn't okay, uh, for, for not having a list, we got most, most important. I need my wrench, wrenches. Uh, preferably one with the, oh, the 18 that's hanging off. Oh, over right here. Or is that a 17? 17. I need a, oh fuck, it's a 19. No, give me the whole wrench kit and whatever's flopping around. Yeah, I gotta find that stuff. This is bullshit. I think we need to stop with that. Uh, here's your 18. Let's see, where? That's horse shit. It's a nice nut, but it's a 18 uh, thing. Needs to go back there, too. Where the hell did this go? Did this go flying away? Oh, right there. I need the aluminum jack. The aluminium jack? Yep. Right, the yeah, aluminium jack. Oh, you see. I don't want that one. Oh, the... Oh, the... the, the, the aluminium jack. Pretty? Oh. It's hiding. It's hiding from you. I found you, Maria. Don't knock over that grill, whatever you do. Oh, shit. Hey. You'll regret that. <laughs> you know, it's funny that the frame's white enough. All you have to do is cut the things on the side, hanging off the side. For, on oh, which side? Put that, you put that grill on there. I think that'd look pretty slick on the truck. Getting it prepped and ready for off-road. Not do, we're not going off road with these blown shocks. Well, they're not really blown, but the bushing, sir. The the done. And they're done. Let's see, by a girl left. <laughs> just kidding. I was gonna be like, you're not just trying to say AutoZone to say AutoZone, are you? And then they're done. This one bolt is proving to be kind of a challenge. But 
I can just reach up there yep. and grab it. Oh, for the right through here? Well, I'll be damned. Yeah, so you can actually put a wrench up to the top. Uh, this truck was pretty good made. Reason why I got this is because, you know, I missed having a truck. Gave, sold Jimmy back his, his 82. She's sitting over there. He's got a lot of work done to it. Look at those bushings. They're all the way out. Yeah, they're gone. There's nothing there. It's like it slipped past the metal. Look at the huge dent in it. Oh, Jesus. These were... Who made these? Don't know, but look at that. Yeah, completely out of there. Oh, look, it was wearing right on the edge there. Let's see this. That's junk. Okay, so we're going to test these shocks. They're not bad. Surprisingly, surprisingly, they still work, but that's that's, that's no good. Throw them over the over the gate. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Uh, on the corner by closest to the house. We're gonna go shop. Put these right over the side. <laughs> Score. Show this. Okay. This is real easy. You can you can come up here with it kind of compressed the wheel and you can just fish oh, it up in here. Slide it right in there. Yeah, and then compress the shaft a little bit. Now we need to uh hold it. Luckily these aren't super stiff. You know, actually working at AutoZone, even though I don't work there that many days now, has made the purchase of this a lot painful, or painless. A lot painful? Well, it would have been probably, it would have probably been over 300 bucks or more. It have been close to 300 bucks if I... No, it would have been more than 300. Without my discount. <clears throat> all the way through this one here. We need a uh, prying device or... Um, yes, I'm going to need a prying device, a big screwdriver, cross point. Ah, uh, no, nah, damn it. I found a big screwdriver, but it had to be... Take it! Take uh, it! You'll do it? All right. Sad that the aftermarket ignition coil for this is cheaper than the factory one. Is it really? Yeah. How much is that? The uh, AC Delco one order was like 40 bucks. The MSD one's 37. And there's another one that's uh, the Summit Racing one's 30 dollars. Wow. Well, we don't have an excuse to put ignition in it just yet. Oh no! Not, not don't be. Oh God! Don't do that again. You know I have the, I have the baby hammer if you want it. Yes, baby hammer. I need to get this thread in here and scrub me nuts. <laughs> hey, the last time Jimmy used one of the a socket, or a, a ratchet as a hammer, he broke it. And that's why I bought hammers. Actually, I got it started. Never mind. Baby hammer, baby hammer. Doing what a baby hammer ever does. Baby hammer, baby hammer. Yeah, there you go, you little cocksucker. Oh, I had a comment on some guy didn't like my swearing and using the Lord's name in vain. I told him, I'm like, well, thank you for uh, watching my channel. I'm, I'm sorry that you don't like my swearing. I mean, I, you're, you're more than uh, welcome to keep viewing, but it, this is my channel. I'm sorry if you don't like my swearing, but that's what this is. Not thread it on by hand. When I try to take it off, it didn't want to come off by hand. Oh, shit. What, dab gum. Oh, dab gum. I'm going to start talking like my grandpa. Oh, wow, you yeah, dab gum. You stupid engineers. 
<laughs> I like how I barely compress this wheel on the whole truck. It's like, yeah. I think it's because it's got this beefy ass bar here. Oh, isn't that a? It's got tor it's torsion bar front suspension, so you can uh, turn a screw and lift it up. Yeah, that'll be easy. Put some blocks in the rear. Sharon's guy asked if this was stock. I was like, uh, yeah. You what really want to uh, tighten that up when the thing's compressed, but this wheel hardly travels upward, so whatever. Too bad I couldn't get that in there. No, 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 no. Oh, no. <sighs> oh, give me a noise. He was like, he told me. And this one, I didn't even need a wrench. I guess on the fuel pump video, I guess I was in the way most of the time. Yeah, it, and then people bitch right, like, sorry. Well, I know. It was because we uh, attached it to the hood when we were videotaping yeah. it. And it's because we used that camera. I used mine, you can see, like, China. Because it's got the wedding lens. So that's one done. Look at that. Nice and shiny new parts. Oh, my knees are clicking and stuff. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and let Jimmy have a chance to film so I can do the other side. All right, we got some new parts for the truck. Got a brand new alternator and a uh, idler arm to replace the old one. It was kind of loosey goosey. I've said that before, you know, did some other work with it. Fixed the interior door handle, kind of. Still got some work to do. Got to get a new clip here. It'll, this uh, the the handle is disconnected from the inside uh, piece in the door jam here. So I put I put it back on there. Now it's on there. The door opens. Kind of some play. Need to tighten this down or replace this whole unit. Something might have broke when they took the door off. I'm not sure. It was missing all kinds of stuff when I got it. I also need to replace the door panel itself because they tend for some reason they thought it'd be a good idea to drill a big old hole for a speaker, which truck already has four sots for it. I don't know why they do that, but they did. So I had to replace that. Also got some other parts here for it. I'm going to replace the antenna because it's broken and then uh, replace the glove box door. The old one on most S10s, a lot of them break at the hinge here. They will snap off right right there. And you know, so you're just going to end up replacing it. So I'll have to get screwdriver it looks like. I don't know what they did to this, but looks like they did that. So I'll take the old one out of here. Alright, so I'm going to teach you how to get the old block out because I have a working key for this one, but not the new one. So I've done this before. It's real simple. You take this clip off the back of it, just pull it right out of there, and the lock will come right out. So you just need a tool, just a pair of needle nose pliers or one of these with a 90 degree bend and just grab it and pull it out. So we're just going to get this out real quick. Set you down so you can touch. Let's get this out of here. These could be really hard to get in and out. You can use a flathead screwdriver. Fun stuff. I think I had to bend it before to get it out. It's been a long time since I had my S10. Alright, we're sitting out the pliers.
there slowly. This one seems like it's rusted. There it goes. Slowly coming out of here. I just pull it out a li little bit normally and then I'll just get a screwdriver and jam it in there. Oh, I remember how so much fun this is. This old lock is out. Reuse this clip because it's pretty gross. We have better luck with this old, this new one.
place the new unit. And you just squeeze it, you know, like you're opening it. Just push it in there. Then we're going to flip back over to the side. And we're going to take the old clip. All we have to do is jam it back in there. This little end and just hammer it in there if need be. Just push it right in there again. I'll grab my little baby hammer. I'll make this easier. Small tiny hammer. There we go. Now it's replaced. Now we just need to get this screw out of here so we can proceed to put the new one in. This looks good slip on there. Okay. Looks like mine's missing the rubber piece here. We're gonna take this off the old one as well. Because we're gonna need it. Stop it from breaking. I don't want this old one off of this one, too. Since it was originally meant for the truck that this came out of. I forgot what year I pulled this other one. I believe it was out of a 91. And this other one happened to be an L. What is it? A SLT. Okay, so arms are swapped. Got the old one on the new one. And the old one's out and ready to go. And loosen this screw, or it's most likely a bolt. For some reason, mine's a screw. I believe they just replaced it. So you're gonna slide this in first. Just put the arm in there first and slide. Just gonna have to slide it over like so. Oops, I'm not getting a very good shot. I didn't realize that. Let me put this back. So you have to slide it. So put the arm in first, and then you'll slide it in. Slide it in like this. And then this portion needs to be completely off in order for it to get make way here. I almost forgot about that minor detail. Okay, so we got this out of here. And I got that down in other ways. Gotta get this down. Let's 
shut it. There we go. Now it's in a spot. I can put a screw back in here. Tighten that in. I can work a screwdriver today. Alright, so the new one is in. And they're right nice and nice. Doesn't look much different, same gray color. Except for the badges are different. Oh no, not that. I don't care enough about that. As long as it works, that's the big support. And there we go. What's this? That looks like we got something missing there. But yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, that's it for that.